we have the 16X, Kingsong 16X, and we bought it in November. And I was still kind of learning to ride, so I wasn't riding great distances with it. Um, when we got it, this is, it was purchased brand new, so it came with a 2.5 um, amp charger. So it's kind of a slow charger, so maybe, maybe if you were at a 30% battery. What Six to eight hours even to, ch to charge when it's fully down. But. Okay, so keep note of that. So in January, I started riding further distances. I was doing like seven mile trips and eight mile trips. And most of the time I would leave on a hundred percent charge. And when I would come back home, I would have like 30% battery left. So we started communicating with our vendor, which is eWheels and um, working with them. And they had me do some range tests. So we did a full charge, hundred percent and I went 14 miles, I think it was, and no aggressive riding, very moderate, like little hills. I don't accelerate fast or anything. Aggressively. Aggressively, <laughs> yeah. not an aggressive rider. Not yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got back home, the battery was like down to 30%. And with the King Song 16X, you should get a range of how many miles? A lot more, about twice as much. So like four, yeah, you, 40 miles, 50 miles? You should be able to get something around 40, 50 miles. Normal riding, uh, Yeah, like not aggressive, no big hills. Maybe popping a little bit above 20 miles an hour for a little while. Oh, that's another thing too. My average speeds in these trips are like 14 miles an hour. So we did the range test and E-Wheels was like, you know what? it seems like there's a problem. And the other issue that, that he noticed, Shane noticed, is that when we go to plug in the, the unit to charge it, um, to get to 100% from say like 30, it takes like two hours. So we think that there is maybe a bad cell in the battery, maybe one of the batteries disconnected. So yeah, it's, it acts like the have only got half the battery back. Right, E-Wheels has sent us their well, five- we, we ordered it. Well, yeah, it wasn't free. Um, <laughs> E-Wheels sent us a five amp rapid charger. And the reason why they sent us this one, um, and, and there's been some mixed reviews on if rapid charging is good for your wheel. We are trying to see, and we're gonna show a video of this as well in the same video. This screen will Pretty show, this screen, this screen right here is gonna show the watt hours and on one battery, a watt hour is in the 700 range. And two batteries, which is the Kingsong 16X, is about 1500 yeah, watt hours. So they want to see what it does when it charges. And I will show you in a second that we do have the wheel currently at zero. So there. no oh, battery. I got to do that. He did. He wrote it and oh my gosh. I'm, and it, no tilt backs. No, like, so and, there's... Until it bucked me off, which was a permanent tilt back. Oh, it um, did. It did buck me off. It bucked you off. Like, it it's made very like slow. Horse. It's not like, I'm, yeah, it didn't... Well, and you were sense. going slow. I was a going lot. very slow and actually to, 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 to get that tilt back, I wanted to get it down to zero. So I got that, that kickoff. Um, so I wrote it actually, I was able to find some grass to write it in. Because yeah, it's kind of unnerving riding a wheel at a zero percent. Yeah, <laughs> so, tell me about it. Even a King Song, which is probably one of the safest wheels you could ride at low battery. Yeah, this so. is by all means the best wheel. I love it. Um, this is a very rare occurrence. This is not a common thing. So if you're in the market for a King Song 16X, I seriously recommend buying it. Yeah, so we still would recommend. Especially for a first wheel. What we're gonna do now is hook up this rapid charger and um, they gave us an adapter and we're gonna plug it in and hook it up and we're gonna film it charging. And I, we are expecting with the results that we've been having over riding it, um, and this wheel right now has about 130-ish miles on it. So um, 
We're expecting to see the watt hours on this indicator in the 700 range, and that will tell us for sure without opening it up that there's an issue with the battery. So stay tuned. Okay, so you saw that the um, wheel was charged 100% and it only got up to 740 watt hours. So we, eWheels said um, go ahead and take it apart. So we're going to take the top cover and the back, I guess both covers, top covers off. And look what we have. What? See that? I know. It's not connected. Oh! We're done. So lower to you here. Can you believe that? And they will reach. Yeah. So, and they're supposed to, obviously, they're supposed to be zip tied too. And there's no sign of a zip tie in here anywhere. Okay, this is my range test after we isolated each battery and charged them separately to 100%. Then we reconnected everything for a top-off charge. As you can see, I'm getting better range. As a disclaimer, we are aware some countries require batteries to be disconnected upon shipping, and we were given no indication ours was disconnected. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.